right we are now ready to mount the mandibular cast the same rules apply here as well make sure this is nice and wet before you proceed when you have your plaster mixed and ready the plaster should be of this particular consistency where it does not slip off when you turn it over but is nice and creamy so the first thing like we did for the maxillary arch we go ahead and adapt it to the cast making sure that we get through all the edges and keep a small tower in the middle right and we've covered the entire cast I'm gonna go ahead and keep a small piece of plaster in the center I now go ahead and adapt the material onto the mandibular rim here this is your mounting plate here again it's important that you cover the entire plate so that you don't get any voids because those can be nidices for cast separation go ahead and turn this over at one point the plasters will come and meet each other and then very gently tap this down as you tap this down you'll see the excess plaster come out keep tapping it until the incisor pin goes and touches the incisal table so you can see there's a very different sound that this creates we know the incisal pin is a rock solid contact with the incisal table you now go ahead and remove the excess cement and in doing so manipulate now remember when I talk about a tiny instrument sometimes the finger can be your best friend during mounting 